everybody and welcome to The Flute Practice. My name is Tatiana and today we are going to be looking at seven great ways to warm up. So let's go check it out. I'm not going to be talking about the really traditional long note technique often used from Della Sonorita, which we all know so well, the for the reason that just happened right now, which is I haven't played my flute today and your embouchure is all tight, everything is feeling a little bit eh, horrible and I tend to overfocus on the sound and actually just run into more trouble. This is my personal opinion, you guys don't need to follow this. If warming up with long notes works for you, that's great. But this video is offering you some alternatives to this. My first favorite way to warm up is to use any kind of simple scale exercise. I have a very specific one. I've shown this to many of my patrons so far. If any of you would like access to my very specific warm up routine, you can find me on Patreon and join up. But basically you can, you know, take any scale technique exercise that you know and just really warming up. What I really like about this technique is that even though my sound might not be great, I'm distracting it with moving my fingers. So I am not thinking too much about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I'm just thinking of playing those nice long notes and moving my fingers in between. I find this is a really great way to warm up and I've been doing it for, you know, better part of about six years now. Sometimes that warm-up routine can get a little bit boring and monotonous and I think that other warm-up routines are always good to have in your bag ready to go when you're having those kind of weird days or unusual days. I do find some of the other exercises in Della Sonorite actually more useful than the classic one that we've always used. The one that I really like is the three semitone exercise so Once again, you're moving those fingers, you're kind of moving through notes and you're not getting too focused on what's going on here, which I think is great. The other one that does work well, I know I've spoken about this in my piccolo video, is the triplet exercise. Once again, you're just moving those fingers and actually practicing your intervals at the same time, which is great. And moving from smaller intervals to bigger intervals, so your embouchure also has time to adjust. Another really nice technique for warming up that I use, especially when I'm really short on time, is singing and playing. I know I've spoken about this in some of my other tone videos, but it is a really great technique to just get your sound going, especially when you don't have all that much time. You've got many variations of this depending where you're at. <laughs> singing along with it, you can sing in thirds or in different kind of intervals if you like, singing in different melodies. I am going to be doing a video just on singing and playing soon, so stay tuned for that for some really fun ideas. Harmonics are also really great ways to warm up. This I find really encourages kind of flexibility of the embouchure, getting everything going really nicely. So to start off with, you just finger a low C and you move your way around them. And you're really trying to get the accuracy of those harmonics, which I'm not getting right now, but with a bit of practice and a bit of warming up, it will come. And eventually you can really challenge yourself to move not just to the next harmonic, but maybe skip a harmonic and jump around. This is quite, can be quite a lot of fun and you can even compose little melodies in this, which really can be quite fun and creative and inspiring for the beginning of your practice day. Another really nice technique that I like to use is an improvisation technique that I learned from a friend. We're going to do this on just a simple scale. I'm going to do this on a G major scale. And I'm basically going to improvise a little melody on each degree of the scale. So, just going to give you a taste of this. Something like that. It's simple. It's you know, if you've got a good grasp of scales, very easy. If you don't have such a good grasp of scales, I really would recommend just do it on a G, A and a B or a C or whatever it might be. So keep it simple, kind of appropriate this to what you can do. In line with kind of making up your own melodies, there is also the strategy, which I know Moyes has a whole book just of beautiful melodies to warm up with. 
This is also sometimes such a nice way just to remind yourself why you love to play the flute, to remind yourself why you love music, and to get the sound going, get the breathing going, get the embouchure going, get, you know, the whole thing going. There are many other people that have also come up with melody books, maybe slightly more kind of modern melody books. I really encourage you to take whatever it is, whether it is pop music, classical music, church hymns, jazz standards, whatever it might be, take what you love and just let the sound go. The final technique that I think is really interesting is for those times when we don't actually have time to physically warm up on the flute. When we have to kind of like get out of our car, get straight into that audition or get into our lesson or whatever it might be. I find that there are ways we can still get ready to play in those situations. One of those is just singing, allowing yourself to sing in the car or, you know, if you're brave, you can try to sing on the bus or the train or whatever it might be. Challenge accepted. It is such a great way to get this whole breathing system going and getting your embouchure going, which is fantastic. It's also doing physical warm-ups, which I think in any case is really important and really useful, but especially when you don't have time to get those fingers going, just to do kind of nice rotations with the wrist, getting the fingers, flicking the fingers, getting them going, or there are a whole bunch of techniques that I actually have done a video on, so I'm just going to link you straight to that. But whatever kind of works for you, maybe it is just kind of getting your body moving or getting it going to physically warm up before you start as well. All right, everybody, that was just a little bit of inspiration for your warm-up routine. I think at the end of the day, you need to figure out what works for you and stick with that, but also be brave enough to try out new things because there are so many cool ideas out there. I want to encourage you, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so that you know when the new videos are coming out. You can also find me on Patreon and Facebook and Instagram. Until then, everybody, happy practicing and see you next time.